So, uh, Secretary Austin, uh, Deloitte, uh, welcome back to NATO headquarters. It's always a great uh, pleasure to welcome you here. And thank you so much for your engagement, your commitment, your leadership for our transatlantic alliance. This is even more important now in these dangerous uh, times. Uh, I also look forward to welcoming uh, President Biden and all the other NATO leaders uh, next week for an extraordinary NATO uh, summit. Uh, at our extraordinary defense minister, ministerial meeting today, we will of course address uh, the brutal invasion of Ukraine by uh, Russia. This is devastating for the Ukrainian people and it will also change uh, our security uh, environment. It will have long-lasting uh, consequences for our security uh, for all NATO uh, allies. Uh, NATO has responded uh, in a united and swift way. Uh, NATO allies uh, have imposed uh, severe sanctions on uh, Russia. Uh, allies provide significant support to Ukraine, military support, uh, financial support, humanitarian support. And we are reinforcing our collective defense. Hundreds of thousands of troops uh, on uh, heightened alert. Uh, 100,000 troops, uh, US troops in Europe. And then uh, uh, 40,000 uh, troops under NATO uh, command, direct NATO command, mostly in the eastern part of the alliance, uh, supported by uh, naval and uh, air uh, forces. Um, and of course, the United States and you personally, uh, Secretary Austin, you are playing a key role in these efforts to really increase uh, and strengthen our uh, collective defense. Uh, more US troops in Europe is a strong message of transatlantic unity. And um, uh, we are extremely grateful uh, for uh, your uh, uh, support uh, to uh, what we do together in the eastern part of the alliance. Um, I have met the US troops uh, over the last couple of weeks in Estonia, in Latvia, in Poland, in Romania, and I'm always struck by the commitment, by the professionalism of the uh, US uh, uh, men and women in uniform, and uh, uh, there is no other stronger message of transatlantic unity than having uh, forces from North America um, uh, serving in uh, Europe. Um, uh, at the meeting today, we will also not only address the uh, immediate consequences of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, but we will also address the more long-term consequences, the long-term adaptation of our alliance, how to further strengthen uh, our deterrence and defense, and to uh, remove any room for miscalculation or misunderstanding in Moscow uh, about our readiness to protect and defend all allies. Um, NATO has the responsibility to ensure that this crisis do not uh, escalate beyond Ukraine, and that's also the reason why we have increased the presence in the eastern part of the alliance. So once again, uh, Secretary Austin, welcome. It's always uh, an honor to have you here, and I look forward to the meeting with all the other ministers uh, starting uh, soon. Please. Mr. Secretary General, uh, it's great to be back in Brussels, and uh, uh, let, let me thank you up front for your continued steady leadership, uh, especially, I mean, it's, it's, we, we value that leadership, especially at a time like this, and I think uh, based upon that leadership, we've been able to, uh, to make some very uh, quick decisions that were very well thought out and act upon those decisions very quickly. So I think our presence here uh, uh, sends a signal to the world that, that we remain united uh, in our support of Ukraine, uh, and, uh, and we condemn uh, Russia's unprovoked and unjustified uh, uh, invasion into Ukraine. And so Ukraine is a, is a, had a legitimate, has a legitimate and sovereign government. And, uh, and certainly, uh, uh, we, res we support uh, their ability to defend themselves, and we'll continue to support them going forward. Um, we've been clear throughout that uh, we, we believe that our commitment to, uh, uh, to NATO, our Article 5 commitment, is ironclad. And you can expect that, as the President has said uh, a number of times, that we will abide by that commitment. And so, Jens, it's great to be back here again. I look forward to a good day of discussions. And again, thank you for your leadership, and thanks to all of my colleagues for what they've continued to do to remain united 
uh, in their support of Ukraine. Uh, and uh, again, I look forward to a great day. Thank you.